Shalom, brothers and sisters. I pray everybody is doing well and that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. It's that time of year again, brothers and sisters, for the cold seasons. I can't believe this year has passed so fast, brothers and sisters. So for this project, we are going to be doing Operation Equipping the Needy. The last two projects that we did do came out to be very successful and this time I'm praying Lord willingly that this will be even more successful than the other two. So brothers and sisters with this project we will be doing the blessing bags on top of ordering beanies, gloves, scarves, and also food, snacks, feminine products, hygiene products, underwear, socks for men and women in all sizes. And then we will also be providing a personal Bible and scripture cards, pamphlets on Jesus Christ, what he did for us when he died on the cross and pamphlets on heaven and hell and how good people do end up in hell. So the main thing that we would like to include in this project, brothers and sisters, for this cold season is going to be sleeping bags. Yes, sleeping bags so that whoever needs a sleeping bag will be provided with not only a blessing bag, but a sleeping bag to stay warm for this cold season. Now, this is the reason why the GoFundMe goal amount is a little high and due to inflation increasing, you know, um, that is why it's a little bit higher than the other GoFundMe amount for um, last project. So we will be providing a sleeping bag for each person that will be receiving a Bible pamphlets, personal hygiene necessities, um, a first aid kit, beanies, gloves, and a scarf um people that do not have a home they have to sleep you know sometimes on dirt or the ground which the cement can be very cold at that time so we are just gonna go ahead and start this project and see what we can do brothers and sisters the more funds that we do receive from all of you or um whatever it is that you would like to donate as far as items we are also asking for items too so if you would like to um get a hold of me on my email address reb period carson 2019 at gmail.com i will give you my address so that you can ship any items for this project so the more items and funds that we do receive the more people that we can bless brothers and sisters i will be doing all the footwork as far as going to the store getting everything that we need for this project i will be stuffing all of the bags i will be making first aid kits i put everything in individualized Ziploc bags so um, it's just more organized that way I do not know if anybody was here for the last hot summer season organization for the project I will include that video link so that you could get kind of an idea of what is it exactly that this ministry does to help those in need so if you would like to be a part of this project, brothers and sisters, you can donate to the GoFundMe or the PayPal or Cash app. All proceeds will go towards this project. And I do want to note that I have some items from the Amazon. They got shipped after the project was kind of, you know, flowing and settling down. Uh, when it was slowing down, I did get some items from a brother in the lord who has blessed this ministry abundantly with his help we received through the amazon wish list for the last project we received some pamphlets uh some pamphlets on how to be saved and some chapsticks and a few other goodies so that will be put into this project so anything that was left over will go towards this project 
I did make a wish list on Amazon and I will be ordering things off of Amazon and through um, the stores over here in bulk items. I kind of wanted to go ahead and um, refrain from doing that as to I want to order everything in one big order. So, um, and I would like to try to hurry up and get this project underway as soon as possible because tomorrow will be the 23rd which is the first day of the fall season so I would like to at least get this done as soon as possible and when a person orders off of Amazon it does not let you know if the person ordered a certain item so I am not going to know what has been ordered until it actually reaches my doorstep so this is why I will be just getting funds and getting everything on whatever I can, pl whatever platform it is that I can get a good price for. So whatever you are led to do, brothers and sisters, uh, it is welcomed. I welcome it. And if you are not feeling that you can help with this project financially, all prayers are greatly appreciated and welcomed. Uh, this ministry has done two seasons of this projects with helping the needy and they have been major success and you know I couldn't be any happier than whatever we have been doing to help those in need so um, this is going to be a season of giving and thanksgiving so I just would like to bless those who will you know be out in the cold with something to keep them warm and you know a little goodie bag just to show them that there is good people out in this world and you know the Lord is going to help them in whatever it is by planting seeds and getting them watered through this ministry so I just want to say I appreciate each and every one of you for everything that you have done for this ministry and continue to do the Lord sees everything and he knows everyone's hearts. And I just pray that the Lord blesses each one of you individually. If you feel led to share this video, please do share this video with whoever you would like to. Or if you would like to share it on your YouTube channel, I give you permission to do so. That being said, brothers and sisters, God bless you. I thank you so much for all of your help and all of your prayers. And I will be documenting this project I will be showing all the things that we are receiving in the mail and uh, the bags that are coming together when I get them together and then it will be documented as I hand the bags and the sleeping bags out too. So I'm looking forward to this project. You know, it is truly a humbling experience and it goes to show you that, you know, it could take one bad situation for any of us to be out in the streets. So all we need to do is just help those people and be a little lifeline to help them. And if it means, you know, giving them a goodie bag, telling them about the Lord and, you know, uh, offering something warm for them to sleep in, then, hey, Lord, use me, use me and use my siblings. So again, I thank you, brothers and sisters, for all your time and your help. God bless you and shalom.